morning everybody welcome back to a new vlog how is everyone feeling um mum made me a tea this morning but i forgot to drink it she brought it to me really early it was like half seven i was like fiona i can't wake up yet to drink this tea so i'm gonna put it in the microwave so how is everyone doing um what's what have i done since we last spoke honestly not a lot the weather's taken a turn recently um which has kind of ruined the lockdown experience um apparently the weather's going to be like this for the rest of june which if you're not in the uk which most of you are but if you're not the weather's just shit right now it's supposed to be like this for the rest of june so that's incredible um today um i think we're actually going to play tennis again um i faked hand last night i feel like i always had hand before a vlog but this is important because this is medium that is two layers of medium. That's dark, isn't it? Like that is how my extra dark, I feel like. This is filter, by the way. Sorry, my thinker off. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's not warm. <laughs> Ew, cold tea makes me feel sick. I wanted to spit that out, but then I'm just gonna ruin the rest of my tea. Tea in the microwave is not ideal, but it just heats it back up again. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Ew. Cold tea is ooh, horrible. Put that in for a minute. Really get it nice and hot. Um, okay, so what are we doing today? Honestly, not a lot because the weather, weather's not good. Oh my God, what's happened? Um, I think me and Chintzia are gonna play tennis with Lydia and her friend if it's not raining. Maybe grab some food from a restaurant because we can now get takeaway at some restaurants. I haven't had restaurant food in ages. Um, so we might be doing that this afternoon if the weather holds off. Um, oh, I'm gonna take Bonnie to the vets this morning. So that's that's my day, guys. All oh, my toast is ready. Okay, let me put this. Okay, this tea's ready. Let's see if it's hot this time. Okay, there's steam coming off it. I can confirm it's hot. <sighs> that's hot. See, it's back to normal. It's like fresh out the kettle. That is a minute in the microwave anyone doesn't drink their tea. I mean, I could bake something today. I really don't know what to do. Oh, I finished um, Little Fires Everywhere on Amazon Prime. If anyone's not watched that, I really enjoyed it. So um, I finished that last week, which was good. I'm just having a piece of toast before we take Bonnie to the vet, so I'm gonna have a proper breakfast when we get back. I love toast. Toast is one of my favourite foods. Sorry, I just spat. One time I actually had, was it 11 slices of toast? One day I got back from school and I was, you know when you go back from school and you were so hungry? I think I literally had, no, I had eight slices of toast. It was great. Honestly, one of my favourite foods. But, this is too burnt for me. This is way too done. I like my toast to be essentially bread, but just a bit golden. Like basically, yeah. Morning. You love toast, don't you? You're just like Coco. You love my toast. Bye. Good morning. Welcome to a new vlog with us. There's nowhere to put you down. How are we? How's our week been? I did attempt to vlog yesterday. But then, it just didn't happen. So today's the day, I'm gonna vlog my day. Um, it's the morning, I didn't do a workout because I could not be asked. Running myself a lovely warm bath, but it's too hot, but it's too full now. So I'm trying to put some cold water in, try and make it cool down so I don't scald my skin. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a bath, get ready. Yesterday we had these beautiful, beautiful plans to go on a picnic and get like this really nice sushi that just um, reopened for takeout. So we're like, yes, let's go get this really nice sushi. So we went to play tennis and then we're gonna go get the nice sushi, have a picnic. And of course it chucked it down with rain and it was cold. So we couldn't do the Yamuchi sushi. So we're gonna try and do that again today at about three. So fingers crossed it's not drizzly because it's been so hot and then the one time we actually want to like plan a picnic it's just not working out it's kind of annoying 
but fingers crossed that's gonna happen we're gonna do a podcast today and whoa this bath needs to not be filled up anymore oh it looks delightful i've got some new hair care things i washed my hair last night i've got some new hair oil to use very excited maybe i should put a mask on i will i'll put this mask on also i've got these um um freaking face face cloths that you don't need a bit like the face halo but this one is it's not like the face halo brand so it's just like a cloth that wipes off all your makeup without the need to use any product like the actual cloth just does it but i have to like see that was so you have to wash them after every use so that's actually needs to go in the wash so it's kind of annoying but it's good because um, makeup wipes really are a waste, aren't they? Also, need to do my nails today. I did get some stick-on ones, um, and they lasted pretty well. But then I, they lasted maybe like two days, and then they started picking off one by one. And then I looked crazy, and then I forgot how annoying long nails is. Like I really enjoy they're just like being able to do everything, like get into parts. Because I used to get a bit squirmish about the um about getting creams out and just like thinking when i thought about the amount of bacteria that could, were under my long nails it did make me feel a bit ill and i did think oh it's probably not the most hygienic way to weigh nails but then um, cardi b has like these long 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 talons i'm like if cardi b can have those long ones and i can at least have semi long nails right i'm gonna just get in the bath because i've got fake time need to wash it off um, and my nose is a bit blocked and I've got a spot. Also puzzle update, because I know you all love these. Well, some of you probably don't, but I know some of you do. Finn has finished it. I'm not gonna lie, I did none of this. I did, I helped with the borders. I think I did that edge and I've not touched it since. But Fiona's really been powering through and it looked very complex. Um, so yeah, she's finished that everyone, if anyone wanted a puzzle update. God, so you know how we said we were going to go and get have a picnic with sushi, it just started thundering, it was like... Rrr, rrr. So I just caught... Look, can you hear it? Can you hear it, Lid? Why, God, why? Lid, it's not fair. The one oh day... God, it's literally thundering, you're taking the piss, yeah? <laughs> you're taking the piss. Sad. We really want a sushi picnic, don't we? Um, the sun literally came out and I texted them being like, the sun's out to play. <laughs> and now it's thundering, man. No, to be fair, it, two, it says sun. Okay. It's rain at one, and then two, it should be sun, so it should blow over. Well, that's good, because we're meeting up at three. So, yeah, so we've got time. plenty of time. Uh, oh my. But the fucking grass <laughs> is going to be damp. The grass is gonna be damp. She's gone. What a bitch. But yeah, we can't sit on damp grass, can we? Have to bring a little portable chair. Could bring a little poof. So we're going to the vets this morning, aren't we? Do you think she knows she's going to the vets? Are you excited to go to the vets? Bonnie actually loves the vet. She loves n no, not going to the vet, but the vet. She really likes him, don't you? Because he gives you big bones. So yeah, we're gonna go to the vets. Not looking forward to it though because. Just had, she's nothing's wrong with her. She's got to have these injections because I think um, she's at that age now where she has to have an injection. Like she's one and she turned one in May. No, March. So. Yes, you did. So you're a big girl now. So yeah, she's got it. She's due an injection. Um, but oh, I hate taking her to the vets for an injection because he makes me hold her whilst he puts it in and she's so heavy. And. Like, I just can't get a good grip on her because I can't hold on to anything. And oh, it's just a stressful time because then she wriggles out my arms when he puts the injection in and the vets get angry and oh, it's just a stressful experience. Wow, it's really great picnic weather. Also, yes, that is my lovely pillow. Just getting absolutely soaked. RIP, I love you. To be fair, that is blue sky over there. So there is hope on the horizon for a picnic. I think I'm gonna make like um, an egg sandwich. I bought some eggs, I've got some bread. I'm thinking I want like a toasted, oh wow, my breath, toasted. 
toasted sandwich situation. I'm really low on food, really low. I've been ordering, ordering poke bowls for like the past two nights because I just couldn't bring myself to make them and taste better when they're from pokey, on the pokey plates, not when I make them. Although I do make a good poke bowl, so. Okie dokie, I can confirm that that is blue sky. Is the picnic gonna happen? There's still a big gray one there. But we've got blue there and the sun is shining in to my flat. Fingers crossed. Okay, we got back from the vets. Luckily we didn't actually have to, have to go in, which is good, wasn't it? Thank goodness for that because she is, well, they came out and said, she's crazy, bless her. Yeah, she's been so good the last couple of weeks. You've been so good. You're not crazy, are you? You're just hyper. Um, so yeah, luckily we didn't have to go in and restrain her while she had an injection. The vet nurse did that for her, so that was a relief. Because yeah. on the door it was like, only one person can go in. So we had a Me and mum fell out outside like, I'm not going in, I'm not going in. No, you're gonna make me, your 52 year old mother, go in the shop. I was like, you're gonna make me, your daughter, go in. Oh yeah, 50, sorry, not 52. Five foot two. Five foot two, mother. yeah. But luckily we didn't have to go in in the end. Um, but I just got this really nice jewellery from IC Season where I get literally all my jewellery from and she's been amazing and sent me these things to so look. Okay, I really want the camera to pick this up. Obviously it's my name on it, but it's all like sparkly. And then these, which I'm really excited about, these hoops, which look gorgeous. Why is it blurry? I'll leave her Instagram um, on the screen because literally like 90% of my jewellery is from her because I think it's all gorgeous. And these really nice cross earrings. Butterfly necklace. How gorgeous is all of this? Thank you, Icy Season. Very excited to wear all of these bits. Mm. Everyone go check them out. I love them a lot. Yes, my little egglings are boiling away. And I've got my little, I'm gonna toast up some bread and have a little sandwich. Amazing. Guys, this is the type of toast I was talking about earlier. This is a perfectly done slice for me. Okie dokie, my egg sandwich was really pleasant. However, I actually couldn't get off the eggshells very well and I'd like, didn't have, anyway, it was, I just crushed them. I couldn't get the eggshells off, it was fucking burning my fingers. So I was like, scoop it out. I was impatient, I should have let the eggs cool. But here we are. Um, it's podcast time. Um, I will show you the setup. It's like the most simple setup ever which sounds like we're in a studio like it's crazy because when lockdown started and obviously we were like oh of course right we're not gonna be able to go to the studio and do it we had to figure out our home system and it sounds just the same so let me i keep it in my little drawers over here so let me um get them out and i'll show you okay, okay. this is a little setup microphone um and then it goes down the wire to this thing which is then plugged in at the wall and then there's this wire this wire this wire this wire this wire goes into here um and then the headphones and then the white headphones are plugged into my phone which is on facetime to soph and then i put the white headphones in and then the big headphones on top as well and it fucking hurts my ears so i'm gonna facetime so soon bang out an app and then let's look at the weather bit of blue sky bit of cloud but no rain but the rain the the grass is still gonna be damp so where are we gonna eat this sushi just fucking i don't know this is the problem when it's not warm where like if you want to hang like we can't go sit on on the on the on the ground on the grass. Can't sit on a bench. It's raining, so we're gonna have to figure that out. The fear is here in the virtual formats. Right. So look, she's got her headphones on. We've got the little white headphones on, so I can hear her. We've got the mics, and it's all plugged in, and was like this. So it's like we're having a real conversation. Then our editor has like two separate files that he puts them together. It's really is genius. But yeah, we're gonna dive into still on. Se what season are we on now? The girls' bathroom. Three. Wow. Oh, they can't hear. She says, "I think this is gonna be episode 20. Of se I was gonna say, I was like, not of all. So episode twenty of season three, because because usually because usually we only have 10 episodes per season but because of lockdown and stuff god you keep twisting around the wrong way 
I forgot they couldn't hear you. I thought you were going to speak when they were like this. <laughs> okay, we're going to start. Bye. She's waving. She said bye. Hey guys, I'm about to go and play tennis. Look how brown my legs are. This is two layers of filter medium. Medium. And it's so dark. And I scrubbed my skin so my skin was had nothing on it before I applied it. It's so brown. I mean, I'm so impressed, but I'm like, wow, medium, really? Yeah, about to go and play tennis, which is going to be fun. Um, but I ordered, I've just ordered this planner, which I thought I would, I mean, to be honest, you guys probably all know about it, but it's called the Productivity Planner. If you guys said you will have heard of the five minute journal, you should follow Mimi and Mimi is it Econ? Icon. Mimi and Alex on YouTube. Um, Mimi and her sister used to be Luxy Hair, was that what it was called years ago? Um, and they have this website called Intelligent Change. This is the five, this is the one for kids, I don't know why I'm on that. Um, but they do these five minute journals, which I'm sure lots of you probably they sell them in Urban Apps, I think. I'm sure loads of you have heard of these. Um, but I just got the productivity planner. Um, I'll show you what it is because I feel like some of you will be, it's not cheap, £21, very expensive. Um, but I thought it looked really good. Chintzia showed it me, I was like, do you know what? That is my type of book. Look, weekly wins, what tasks were not completed last week, what have you done this week? So look, let's look what it says. Most important task of the day, secondary tasks of importance, additional tasks, notes, productivity score. This is just my type of book, okay? It's just my type of book. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you. It is going to take 7 to 21 days to arrive, which I thought, and it cost me £11 for shipping, which I thought was very expensive. Um, but it struck me as something which I thought, do you know what, I think I would really thrive off of a notebook like that so I've ordered it so when it gets here I will show you guys tell you if I think it's worth it but um yeah if anyone wants a productivity planner that's what I got because I even though like I have that app good notes where I write down like my to-do lists and stuff I kind of fancy a change and I actually want paper and something which actually is pen and paper because my friend actually told me the other day as well that he thinks I should start journaling because he journals and he has all these journals and I'm like oh my god journals um and the idea of just like pen to paper I don't know that just sounded appealing to me um so yeah this is where I'm gonna start so just thought if I interested anybody else then yeah I got my new earrings in and my necklace I'm gonna go pick Chintzer up we're gonna go and play some tennis and that's it it's definitely too cold to be in shorts and it's starting to rain. Excellent. Ugh. My God. Are we gonna make it to tennis? Place your bets below because it's literally starting to spit. Oh, I didn't even bring a bubble. That was stupid. Oh no, one in my car. Mm -hmm. So prepared. Right, I'm going. We're playing, but it's fucking raining. So it's gone from one extreme. Say hello, bitches. We've got our hunts of it's cold. We're doing shit. We're beating the uh, the rich mummies over there. They doing really well. Thumbs up. Podcast was a lovely success. It was a fantastic app. And now the weather track. It is like dry, so we're actually gonna do this little sushi thing. Let me. I need to put on some like acceptable human clothes. So I'm just feeling outside, and it's nippy. So I don't think. And the trees are very breezy, so I don't think I can do a cute summer dress. Unless I do a long dress. Unless I do a long dress with um, like a big jacket and some trains, but then my legs will be cold anyway. So maybe we're just gonna go for pure comfort. Or maybe I could do my little thingy. Well, then I feel like I'm still gonna be cold. I don't really have any acceptable cold clothing anymore. Because I've just been buying like flowery dresses, like literally, I've been on ASOS, on the dress section, just looking at dresses, like when a new dress comes in, I'm like, heart, heart, heart. So I literally have dresses and it's nippy. Unless I just, oh gosh, let me figure this out, I don't know what to do. It's okay, I've gone for my Nike um, pastel hoodie. I just had to get a stain out of the front so I've got a big wet patch. And then just some grey jogs because I've gone for comfort. Oh my God, look how sunny it is though. But it's still windy and cold. 
don't let this one deceive you and then my cute little croissant bag that i showed you in the other vlog i just love it it's just so handy and cute and then i thought i'll just put some trainers on or something because i want to be warm the last thing i need is to be literally freezing i'm with the gals so sophia lydia and olivia we've ordered uchi it was really cold got a hot chocolate and a green tea but now look at the sun wow and this is uchi where we just ordered but we've got to wait half an hour now for the collection what time is it it opens at five lydia so we've got no because it said when i ordered it said it would take 40 minutes right Okay. Yeah, so order pick up for four forty-five. Oh, all right then. Right. All right. Fifteen minutes. All right. all right, darling. We're all getting sushi regardless. All right. Oh my god, the rain! I feel sticky and my fake tan like stinks because I think the rain is just. I don't know, but it just stinks. Um. Right. Yeah, I'm back. We were gonna go and have lunch and like get lunch, but there's nowhere to sit. We're gonna sit on the grass, but like the grass is gonna be wet. Like it's just gonna be wet, isn't it? It's not gonna be nice. So we're gonna do it tomorrow instead. Um. So now, just got back. What time is it? Twenty past two. It's gonna have some lunch. Got you balancing on a pot of hummus. But these are my favourite crisps. Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! I know. I will show you them as well. Don't worry. These are my favourite hot chips. Hot potato chips, smoky barbecue. And they're vegan. Are they vegan? Yeah, they are. Neither were. Really good. I think they do them in salt and vinegar as well. But they are so good. They're my favourite crisps. I ate like a whole bag yesterday. Really good. But they're an awkward size because you can't put the whole thing in, the, in your mouth. You really have to stretch out your... Yeah. Wow. Well, well. Guys, we got the good. We've got chips. It's never tasted so good. It's never tasted so good. Oh my god. Yo. Hello, mon amigos. I am going to have a bath to end the day and to warm myself up. Lewis has been busy today. Been back working. On a scale of one to ten, how much did you miss me? Too slow. Well, he was jealous of um, our Yamuchi. I'm still full, you know. And I just had a bubble tea, an Oreo one. I just discovered that the Oreo one is actually vegan. Well, I'm out of breath. Just discovered that the Oreo one is actually vegan from T4. And I know they're a chain, so the ones that are marked VG are vegan. Pretty self explanatory. And it has like a little um, Oreo bits in it. Did you know that? All Oreos are vegan. Yeah, but the bubble tea is always vegan. Wow. It's got little Oreo chunks in it. It's like a milkshake. Oh, wow. I know. So I had one of those and now I'm really, really full. And um, what should we do? Just do what couples do, yeah? I play people. Chillaxing, you relaxing. You watch YouTube, I Yeah, that sounds all right. I think I'm going to have a bath. Would you like to bathe in my filth after I've bathed? Not if you have a wee in it, like last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I, can't, I can only wee in toilets. I can't wee in my own bath and still sit in it unlike some disgusting men like yourself. When we're on yeah, holiday, he'd just, piss, he'd just piss in the pool and piss in the sea like it was yeah, okay. Game, because I remember when we were on the boat in Italy and we were with my family and it's a pretty small boat and it's you get really seasick when you have to go under to have a wee and then we the boat had like docked no we'd like put the anchor down like near the shore just like it was a nice pretty bit and then went for a swim onto the shore because it was like a shore which you can only get if you like swim to from your boat and then i remember really needing a wee and everyone was trying to help me do a wee just like in my swimsuit sat on the rocks and the mental challenge to release it for me is really hard, isn't it? But then I eventually did it. You just gotta just take away all your mind. Where were we in Bali where I had to wee over a hole? We were on an island, I think on a day thing and the only toilet was just the hole and it took a lot in me, it ran Noosa. all down my legs. Huh? In Noosa. In Noosa Pineda, I think it was. Yeah, I think that was right. 
so we got a boat a boat over to noosa with this little guide who was so cute and he was only 18 and he, how long had been had he been guiding for ages we um we just did it on airbnb and he was so sweet and he had a girlfriend remember he was texting his girlfriend yeah. he was texting his girlfriend all these love hearts and it was so cute and he was such a good um little tour man um yeah and had to, but that was like tougher because the hole was on the ground and you had to stand like that with your legs and squat like that and i feel like that was so much harder than just doing it because then because then you're in that weird squat position because you couldn't just stand up over the hole because it's going to go all down my legs you have it so easy you're disgusting you're disgusting i'm telling them everything yeah do you know what i do want to get though a shiwi do you know what a shiwi is yeah do you the little uh so it's like a cone so it's like you've got so say i was going camping and we didn't have a proper toilet it's like a little nozzle that you just put over your vagina and then it just flows out like a like a penis wee i've never thought of you be so unsexy ever that is so rude you can't talk about it. of course yes. i can you love it Trying to show off. Okay, we're gonna have a bath and take off our makeup and get clean and take this coat off. I'm still internally pretty cold. Whoa. I'm so full of Oreo boba, honestly. It's just really feeling the like a meal. Has anyone seen that TikTok? Because my mum really likes boba, but it's like no, it doesn't seem like something their generation would enjoy. It's a TikTok. Um and it's like an elderly lady and she, I think she's trying boba for the first time. She's like, what the hell is that? Eggs? It's really funny. Probably funnier just to see it. Um, but yeah, let's do this um, bat blue. It's going to be niggly. Just nice making plan. tea and we're making scones. Do we say scones or scones? We say scones in this house because it's gone. Scone. 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 But some people I the posh some, in my eyes people scones. in my eyes the posh people say scones. scones we say scones so we're gonna make scones or do you have to put raisins in them you don't have to i don't like raisins in them. i don't like raisins in food i don't like nice raisins not really raisin girl um i'm just making some tea i feel like scones go out, bunny. scones used to be something that i made a lot as a child i feel like they were a classic Classic thing that was made in this house. Granny makes or them in my lot. granny's house, yeah, not this house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's only recently dived into her love of baking. I've um, only recently had time to dive in. Granny is the baker of the family. Um but yeah, that's what we're doing, and I'm just making tea. This tea is only tea. the third cup of the day and it's half past two. Which is pretty good going, I think. Yeah. Best milk for tea and coffee. I don't drink coffee, but best milk for tea, non-dairy, that I've found, anyway. When I went into Sainsbury's today, they had two, they've got a light blue and slightly darker one, and then they're really yeah. nice today. One says semi, semi. Yeah. Which one do you, do you know? I like the semi one. Right, that's all right. Semi for drinks, because actually, the grey one is the barista one, which is good for like cakes because it's like the thick one, or I guess if you were making like a proper coffee and like a coffee machine, thing is yeah. quite good for like thro frothing but yeah i have the semi because i used to have the barista one but i think it's oily i think it was breaking me out of there i think because yeah. i saw one girl that said they use oil in oat milk and i was like ugh. and i think it does have oil in it so the semi one's obviously like the lightest one isn't it it is quarter to three Day is getting on. The weather's taking a turn. We're ready for a bit of uh, the gardens are ready, aren't they? The garden needs it. The grass just needs <laughs> That's it. That's what everyone just keeps saying. The garden, good for the garden, the gardens need it. It's true. Do you know what I really want in my future garden? Is this possible? I was thinking about this the other day. I really, oh, we'll send you on there. I really want to like have like a lemon tree and a lime tree and like an avocado tree. Can I do that or? Where are you living in Nottingham? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can, can we not grow them in this country? I don't really know how it works. Because Desi Perkins has Perkins produce. And in her garden, she grows limes and lemons and all these vegetables. And I'm like, oh, I want to grow vegetables. 
Sounds a nice idea. Vegetables, yeah, but I don't know about, you know... Lemons. No, I think you need more the Mediterranean. Hotter climate. Right. Perhaps at your second property. In abroad. You could grow, you could grow the one lemons. One step at a time, you know, one in, step at a time. In the Algarve. <laughs> right, well that's that dream dead then. <laughs> it was because I was on Animal Crossing and I was like, oh my garden looks really nice. Cheers. I, mean, I was thinking about having a nice garden in real life. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you start with the basics. So what can I grow then in this country? What could I grow in my future tomatoes garden? Tomatoes in the greenhouse. Don't like tomatoes. Don't hate them, but I wouldn't choose to have them. Apple, very common, apples, pear yeah. tree. All pears, Fruit I like trees, pears. What about strawberries? Strawberries, yeah, you can strawberry plants, yeah. Could have in a like strawberry farm. Bag. Well, watch this space, guys. I'm going to become a uh, fruit farmer. Is that the word? Yeah. Great. Okay, the scones have been made. Uh, have you ever made these before? Yeah, once. They weren't great. <laughs> We're not sure if this is how they are. Are they a bit thick? I'm not sure. They look I pretty. Think that I think one's be... thick. I think these are too thin, to be honest. Too thin. Yeah. They look pretty dense to me. No, they'll be too thin. They're gonna taste good, which is the most important thing. Well, don't count your chickens. Don't count your chickens. Never heard that phrase don't in my count entire your life. Chickens before they hatch. Don't right. count your chickens before they hatch. Every day's a school day. Right, they've not really worked, have they? No, they have, they've just not risen. They're a bit, they're a bit flat, aren't they? There's not much. I should have made six. Mm, wow, they smell good though, don't they? Oh, I love scones. They do smell good, bit of jam, bit of butter. Yeah, but mm. then, you know. They're a bit we, flat, they're a bit light. If we double them up they? like that with some jam in, they'll be this delicious. This one's pretty good. Yeah. Why did you put sticks. like self-raising flour in then? Yeah, 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 and baking powder. Wow, I wonder what you did wrong then. I don't know, I think this happened last time, I lost mm. Granny. Oh, still gonna eat them all. Not too bad. I wanted to show you how good this um, washable, this wash, yeah, it is a washable cloth, isn't it? Look, it just takes it off. So we, look, look, I'm not even like rubbing hard, like it's gone. Very, very good. No product. Sophia's not tried one of these before, but so you really should because, to be fair, they're easier than makeup wipes. Normally, if I use a makeup wipe, oh, oh. normally if I use a makeup wipe, it what you have to use three, I like two or three, but this, you know, it's just one, and then as long as you're keeping it clean so that there's not like loads of bacteria um but i don't know how it does it really in terms of the eyes i'm going to try and be really gentle and just like hold it on there for a bit and try and just like there we go there we go it really is really good um and then you can go with like your proper cleanser after with like the product just to make sure everything's off but it's splendid. I'm still using my orange Ola Hendrickson face wash because I love it, even though Hiram probably says it's not the best because of the essential oils. Everyone, Hiram says he's not a fan of essential oils and fragrance because that's what can irritate the skin, all right? He says he doesn't mind it if it's in like a face, well, a bit of water in my own. He doesn't mind it if it's, um, in a face mask, it's a wash off thing. I suppose that's a wash off thing actually then, so maybe you might not mind. But he says in, definitely in like serums and face creams, like um, essential oils and fragrance is a no-go. So maybe this is all right, Hiram. Is this all right? Not, um, he only reviews really famous YouTuber skincare reviews, but imagine, am I doing it right? I'm very rough with my skin. If you look back on like old videos, you guys always call me out for being too rough. I'll just, I think it's cause it bores me and I'm always, I just can't be asked to spend my time. Like I'd rather just do it quickly. I think that might be why I'm a bit rough. Um, but I, I am trying. Sorry I keep talking about Hiram, but I really love him. Hiram says, SPF is the most important step. People don't use an SPF, he gets a very, very angry and I've seen it, I've seen it. And I didn't do this mask this morning, so I'm gonna do it now. 
the um, chemical peel. I know I, I I keep, this is like fucking on repeat, these lockdown take off makeup things, but it's just nice. Stings a bit. Hiram says that's not good actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my bath. And then I think I'm gonna paint my nails. Um, then, I to, then I wanted to talk to you about some things I've been watching. Um, and yeah, then we'll wrap it up. I'm so full, honestly. I need to lie down on my belly. That's what really helps me when I'm really full. But let's have a nice night. To be fair, it's already 9 p.m. So I'm just gonna chill out. But I definitely need to do my nails. I've got just that pink, that's the only nail varnish I have. I have a pink or a nude, so actually, I think I'll do a nude. But my tan is really nice and even. Like, my, Look how great my hands look. I've never looked that great. Fantastic. Bath is looking phenomenal. Hi. What are you doing? What's everyone up to? Um, it's dinner time. It's five o'clock, which means it's my dinner time. Um, the scones are actually pretty good. They're actually quite nice. Um, I've just been watching some Desperate Housewives. I've been reading some of my book. Honestly, today's been pretty, pretty lazy. I haven't really done anything. Um, but actually, a book I am reading, which I wanted to tell you guys about, is called... Put it up on my iPad. just want to get the name right. I think it's called White Fragility. Yeah, that's what it's called, isn't it? It's only 168 pages, so like that's a small book. Um, and so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm only on chapter three, so I am at the beginning. But so far, I'm actually enjoying reading it. I'm finding it like educational. I think it's a good read. I think it's easy to read. Um, I know there's loads more books I need to read, but I just thought it was this was a good starting point. Um, so yeah, if any of you are looking for any books on racism, race, um, anything like that. I'm personally enjoying White Fragility. I'm only on chapter three, but I'm finding it helpful. I'm definitely finding it educational and it's easy to read. I was a bit worried that like I wasn't gonna be able to keep up and it was gonna be like all this fancy language, but it's not. And um, it's only 168 pages, so it's really manageable. Um, so yeah, I'm reading that. I just downloaded it from Amazon just because you can get it like straight away, just so it's like on my iPad. You can download the Kindle app so like all your books from Amazon just go straight on there. So that's what I like to do. Um, but yeah, right now I'm gonna go and eat some dinner. I'm having those plant kitchen burgers, which I had in the last vlog, like the vegan um, burgers. So I'm gonna have those. And then, yeah, I don't really know what to vlog today, guys. We're recording the podcast tomorrow. Um, I actually think Chintzy is vlogging tomorrow. So if our days seem a bit mismatched because that's because she's vlogging tomorrow instead. Um, so yeah, I might vlog a bit more tomorrow because I'm really not doing much tonight. Look how fresh and clean I look. And I'm moisturised with my nice moisturiser. I've actually having, been having some problems. I think I've been reacting to a few different moisturisers. I bought this one and it was an... It, sorry, I ran out of my away one. And then I was using the Bondi Sands one, which I really like. It's like a coconutty one. And then, because I just get in them off ASOS, I thought I'd try a new scent. So I tried the end of the stories one, and it gave me such a bad reaction. Well, not initially. My skin was a bit hot when it went on. And then, like, the next day I woke up with, like, a bit rashy, and my skin was really dry. It was almost like it wasn't actually moisturising it. So I was thinking it was just, like, heavily fragranced, and, like, actually wasn't moisturising. But we are going to watch some Netflix now. It's actually a really nice evening now. Um, we were sat in that picnic. Like, it was like we were in a hurricane. It was like wind almost rained on us. But we managed to sit on the grass still and it was fine. Um, but it did rain straight after. So we just got the good timing. Um, but Lewis has ordered some beers on Deliveroo. It's oh, wild. Four Fro beers. Chips and cheese cob. Yummy. Cheese cob. Cheese. Chip, chip and cheese cob. So chips and cheese and a cob. So chip cob but with cheese. Yeah. Mm. I actually have a MS porn star um cocktail in a can to drink that I've not drank yet. Maybe we can have a drink together, date night. Yeah, big yeah. man. Kevin Wild, yeah. Beers and one cocktail. To be fair, I've not had one sip of alcohol the whole of lockdown. You've had a few beers and a few boys' drinky nights, but 
Have you been drunk in lockdown? Yeah. Twice. I remember the house party days at the start of lockdown. Mm. When you were up till like four. That's when it was cool with house party. Yeah. Do you not do the quizzes anymore? It's not very cool anymore. Or is it's it? Got bored of them. Got bored of them. Yeah. No, I'm missing the boys. Same you can ask yeah. I'm just watching Kenza. I love her and I love her baby. And her husband as well. They're a beautiful family. But I'm watching her vlog because um Nicola, oh my god, there he is. He's so precious. Um I watched like all her pregnancy videos. Her birth video is amazing. It's got like five million views, it's incredible. Um yeah, I'm just watching her because I love seeing all her baby stuff. He's so cute. Okay, so one thing I need to finish watching is when they see us. So I watched one episode last night and I was prepared for it to be really distressing and sad because all of you, I'd said that I was going to watch it. All of you would DM me being like, you know, get your tissues out. It's really sad that like I cried every episode. So I was prepared, but it was so distressing. Like I couldn't stop crying. It was literally like the first episode. I couldn't stop crying and I just was really distressed. So then I kind of took a break and I went to watch the interviews with the real men who it happened to when they had come out of prison. Um, so basically, long story, just to sum it up, um, it was about these five um, teenage boys who were like 14 to 16 and they were, they were black boys and they were convicted of, convicted of a rape that they did not do and they're basically framed by the police and it was a story the story of that so and it was just oh my god it was incredible but so so sad the first episode so i went and watched the um real life interv interviews with the guys because it kind of put me at ease that i don't know that just seeing their their faces and knowing that they were out i don't know it came it kind of gave me the strength to keep watching the show so i'm gonna Try. I'm trying to do an episode a night because it's just so heavy. So I'm going to do another one tonight, um, and I recommend watching them. That's really, just really eye-opening. And yeah, so if you should watch it as well. And I also watched um, Fruitvale Station. That was on Netflix as well. That was really sad. I was crying my eyes out. Like I'm a weak, but I can't watch many films without crying. Um, so I've had a few emotional nights watching some very, very sad things. Um, but yeah, I recommend watching those two things. And then we also need to watch the 13th. And Lewis has been watching um, Queen of the South. Queen of the South. Which is like kind of a bit like Power, you've said. This. No, it's a bit like, yeah, Power. So or if anyone's watched Narcos. Oh, Narcos. Narcos. Forced to work for a cartel that recently killed her. Oh, that's interesting. It's very drug and uh, 18 plus. 18 plus. Um, so, Lewis prison is, break. We need to. I need to pursue that. We've only watched. You've watched them. Yeah, prison break is amazing. But I watched one episode. Um, but I need to get through when they see us first. The last dance. The last if dance. If you like sport. Oh, you, about basketball. Like, yeah, yeah, you like that. Who, who's that about? Michael Jordan. Oh yeah. Those, those trainers you kept. I had two wearing. pairs of Jordans. Yeah, that's his brand. So did he design the shoe? Uh, probably. But yeah. he's like a billionaire because because of those shoes. Like he made loads of money for basketball, but then those shoes made him like okay, really, popular. really rich. Because yeah. mm. they can be really, really, really expensive. Yeah. They're like rare ones. But the ones you got were like, they got popular because of The Last Dance, I think. Oh, really? So This Last Dance came out and they're like the old, they're like the trainers he used to wear in the 90s. Oh, didn't even know that. Facts. Facts. Good morning. <gasps> oh, sorry. I literally forgot about you guys yesterday, didn't I? I don't even remember what the last thing I vlogged was. Um, so I'm just going to keep going today. Because um, I realised, I remembered, I've been watching the real clips. They've been talking about giving Bay a key to your place. And they've been talking about... Um, roles in relationships i could watch it all day i really enjoy it um what is that what on earth is that um anyway i remembered i remembered that in the last vlog i said that in this vlog i was gonna clean my trainers and i'm literally just lying here being like oh shit that's what i was supposed to do 
so that's what I'm gonna do now because I didn't really vlog that much yesterday I don't feel like so I'm gonna clean my trainers today and I'm excited about it. I need to actually go to the shops and get the stuff um but I will show you because yeah oh my god wait did I even screenshot that girl's story where she did it I think I'd be able to recognize what it was if I saw it in the shop oh no this is the next thing isn't it I'm not even gonna be able to remember what it was did I no I'm pretty sure I screenshot it um yeah so I'm gonna get up now and then I'm probably gonna head to the shops and find that and then this afternoon I like midday we're recording the podcast and then we have a meeting about something. And then that's pretty much it. I think we were supposed to be going and getting like lunch today and stuff, but we've got podcaster meetings at lunchtime, so I'm not really sure if we're still gonna do that. Um, but it's blue skies today, yay. This would have been the better day. This would have been the better day to play tennis. It's literally blue skies, that was stupid. We didn't look at the weather. Um, okay, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry if this vlog's been confusing. I feel like since is vlogging today, I vlogged a bit yesterday and now I'm here in bed and it's a different day um but yeah we, we can roll with it so everyone here cheesy chippy cobby actually is that ciabatta that looks really nice actually wow can i touch the bread oh oh my gosh that just looks amazing can you not think of my that looks fantastic and a lovely beer heineken yummy you're not in focus but that looks delicious i'm kind of jealous got my airpods in and i'm on episode two of when they see us i will let you know how it goes hi update i am a ha a half an hour into the last episode and i'm just a mess i'm gonna have to it is okay it's almost 1am i'm gonna have to reconvene this tomorrow but yeah it is incredible and you know if you can if you've got netflix defo give it a what not even halfway through and i'm already such in such a state um so i'm gonna try and get some sleep lewis is still watching queen of the south in there i've been checking in he's been checking in on me um but yeah i'm gonna go to sleep so yeah i love you all lots and i'll see you on the next vlog love you okay we got the goods so we've got this is what i'm gonna use vanish oxy advance powder so this is the before these are my this is probably my worst pair isn't it these are probably the dirtiest yeah and then i also want to do where's those white ones when i see new ones of these it makes me sad because you think oh they're not actually that dirty but when you see new ones like this is literally supposed to be white yeah and like, it's I think they come gray. up really well. Yeah. Because it's like you can get white trainer pens. Yeah, and I know. It's quite and I also have the these, pens. which are like my gym kind of trainers, and these are pretty ditched as well. I've washed those before in the washing machine. And they've though. come out brand new, to be fair. Okay, so yeah, 10 grams of this powder. We got this at the co-op, by the way, at the petrol garage. 10 grams of powder. See there, I can't see it, but there's a, there's a number. Yeah. It says 10. It says 10, 20, 30. Can you see the numbers? Well, at the top says 60. Oh. Stop moving it and I'll be able to see it. Hang on. Tens there. I'll put too much in. Yeah, Just shake it between I think. Oh, they're like little beads. So what, are you going to mix it into a paste? So it says 10 grams of powder with equal amounts of water. So what, 10 grams of water? Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you could do it in. Yeah, that's yeah, 10. Nice jar. Yeah, so put that in there. Bonnie, we don't need your help, darling. Don't need your help today, Bonnie. Ah! And how much water? That? I said the same, 10 grams. I know, but what's 10 grams of water? It's the same as you in your spoon. Some... Oh, okay, well that should be about right. Get a spoon. Oh, I need a toothbrush. Bonnie! Bonnie, no. She's destroyed these, look. I don't actually know how she picks them up because they're very heavy. She does, yeah, she can pick it up. What when she, she was a puppy, she'd be able to pick it up. She the picked up um, the dumbbell. three kilo dumbbell in her mouth. She's walking around with it. She must have a lot of jaw strength. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just mix this and then... That's, I would put a bit more in because that's quite a bit of water, isn't it? Yeah, it needs to be thicker, do you think? Yeah, keep stirring. And then a toothbrush to really, like, get in there. I've got to get the camera in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I think we just let them soak. That seems to be the thing. So yeah, apply mix on the stain, rub the stain as needed, so like with the toothbrush, and then soak. So soak them in water with a bit more powder. 
And then fully six hours max. Oh, that's going to be a long time. And then, yeah, that seems to be about it. So, bunny, no. I'll steal my car keys. Mmm, smells good. I love the smell of, like, washing powder and, like, laundry detergent. Do you? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a toothbrush. Okay. So, should I wet them or should I just go ahead? I would just put the paste on. But it needs to be a paste. Let's have a look. It's no, it's just going to run off, isn't it? Bunny, this is not an experiment for dogs. Well, see what? I'm just going to get the tooth for Oh no! <laughs> what Hello. are you doing? Hey! I hope this works well. I hope yeah. it doesn't like stain them a weird colour. No, because it makes whites whiter. It's yeah. like a product you put in your laundry for you. To be fair, they've already like changed colour because these like plasticky bits are supposed to be cream and they're grey. It's like an optical brightener. I guess we just rub. Yeah. How long am I going to do this for? Just realise this could take a while. I know you can send your trainers to get like professionally clean. So I wonder what they do there. They can like really um, refurbish them. Yeah. I hope this doesn't make them go a weird colour. I feel like they need to soak in water, don't they? And then I'll scrub them whilst they're in the water, do you think? I mean, I know it's still wet, but there's a slight the difference. One. Isn't yeah, there? there is a difference there, actually. This is going to take so long to dry. Hold that so it doesn't go on the countertop. There we yeah, go. Yeah, and you this can take your laces out. Promising. Obviously, professionally, you would take the laces out and wash yeah, them. Yeah, you would. That makes a huge difference if you've got laces in your trainers and, the, and you wash your laces. Or just put them in the dish in the washing machine. Put them in a pillowcase and put them in a washing machine. Yeah, it's a bit. That's what that's good for, like your air forces and stuff like that. I remember Jess, Jess's dad would always put their trainers. Yeah. In. My friend's dad would always put trains in the washing machine. They came out brand new. They do. They do really well in the washing machine. The downside is you could damage the drum if they're really, really heavy. Off so. the washing machine. Yeah. Washing machines are expensive. Washing machines. Well, actually, is Calgon a washing powder, or is it a brand of? It's a it's a brand. It's to um, you know, like you would descale a kettle. It's to stop the lime scale, the build up, isn't it? Mm. In the to make it last supposedly longer because of all the water passing through all the pipes, lime scale. Mm. I suppose you should have gloves on as let well. Let me show you this TikTok. This is chemicals. Let me show you this TikTok. It's so funny. Is it that boy? Oh, you got something on the so high note, please. Please. I don't know any of these musics that kids are listening to these days. about five times every day for the past week. I think it's so funny. I don't know what it is, but it's just hilarious. I think it's him. Yeah, you've got a really good, by the way. You've got a really good soy milk. But look at the difference, look. This is the cleaner one. Can we see? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's working then. Yeah, oh definitely, but you do. All right, I'll take over then. Just be patient. All right, I'm gonna keep going with this. Um, and I'll update you when they are done. done. And probably dry. They're going to take hours to dry, aren't they? Because they're so heavy, but... Yeah, but you'll see a good... Before they dry, you'll get the idea. Hello. Um, so we just recorded the podcast. We just had our meeting. Trainers. Trainers are currently outside drying right now. Um, it did rain. So I think they've got more wet as then they've got dry again. I don't really know. I think it's going to take a while to dry, to be honest. Um, but they came out pretty good. They look cleaner the like cream but i'll show you guys but the bits that's supposed to be cream have got a bit blue um i'll update you guys on them when they get more dry but now we're going for some food because even though i'm actually i've actually had lunch i'm not actually hungry but i'll have this for my dinner so i think we're going to get some sushi which is what we we're going to do yesterday after tennis but um it started raining the weather today very on and off anyway i've got this bomber on again which i got from honestly this is the best jacket i think i've ever bought did i get it i think i got it 
last year or at the start I'm saying was it the start of this year or was it last I, do, I really don't know but it's from Zara and it's honestly the best jacket I've ever bought because I love it on like nights out if I'm wearing just like jeans and heels and like a jacket but it's sorry I've had some coke so bad for coca-cola by the way I've had I've had um where am I going with this jacket like times like today where like it's raining but it's kind of sunny it's just the best bummer ever um and I got this in a size medium I don't think they sell it now which is really annoying um because I'm just here like talking about it and they don't even sell it but like have a look on Depop and stuff seriously because this is the best jacket I've ever bought and on that note I'm gonna go get some sushi haven't had restaurant food in did I say this yesterday haven't ate restaurant food in so long so I'm excited hopefully like the park's not like wet because we're gonna sit on a bench hopefully it's not like soaking wet because that's just not gonna be fun is it um right yeah awesome off we go girls i am just formally ending the vlog this has been very mismatched and quite random so i do apologize um yeah we vlogged different days basically so the clips i had didn't really match up the clips yeah we didn't really match up with our clips um so sorry if that was a bit confusing to watch because the last clip i did in the bummer jacket was like when we went to get sushi which was near towards the beginning it's a bit confusing but you guys don't really care but just before um we finish trainer update it's now monday i did them on friday so friday Sunday, Sunday, Monday. they're still wet that's four days later and they're still damp um so i'll go and show you them then we'll wrap this up all right i mean they look cleaner i suppose but I'm a bit underwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. They look, they still look dirty, don't they? They haven't like, I'm not like, wow, these look brand new. To be honest, with these, I've got better results from just putting them in the washing machine, the pillowcase, and they've come out yeah. like brand new. These still look dirty, like this is literally still dirty. So they weren't a success. Um, but probably so, that could be to do with the fact of how you wash them. And I think if you probably put them in the washing machine, with the um what yeah the oxy gel yeah it would definitely come up brighter yeah these are literally still a bit wet um yeah again quite underwhelmed to be honest not not really that impressed um i mean this looks cleaner this has gone a bit bluey gray um yeah they definitely look a bit cleaner but they still brighter. look they look a bit cleaner, but they still look dirty. Like there's still like, it's kind of like orangey makeup. This is kind of not really that clean. Yeah. They've had a tiny bit more life, but not, not worth the effort really of having them wet for like nearly a week, is it? <laughs> Cause they're still wet now. It's not worth it. Um, yeah, this actually looks quite clean. That is much brighter. There's definitely are. But the actual like fabric, no. So was that worth it? Probably not. Do I think you should do it? Probably not, to be honest. Um, you've got a result. I don't think it's worth it. I think them newish rather than really. I just dirty. was expecting more. Like this is kind of just dirty. Know, it's gone orange. On there, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I was expecting more. So. But, but yeah. At least we tried it. Brighter and it's worked. Yeah. But it's how much effort you put in. Alrighty then, folks. Well, thanks for watching, lots of love, and we will see you in a new vlog. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs>